everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. <laughs> I was about to flip off like that, didn't I? <laughs> but anyway. Uh, gray hair here. Finger yeah. dragons, that's it. <laughs> but anyway, we're back with another edition of Five Questions. Another as, one. As the fucking train's rolling As the through. boogie woogie fucking choo choo train comes by here. You guys are probably hearing it. Uh, like no, we ain't talking about fucking. There it is. We ain't talking about fucking ice train. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one wants to talk about no, no, that motherfucker. We're right. talking about the real train. But anyway, we're back with this edition of Five Questions. We're gonna go ahead and get started with this. Uh, you guys can ask us questions anytime you guys want to. We are a little bit behind. Yeah, so you're gonna have to bear with us. Bear with us because you know, unfortunate, unseen stuff happened, and we're trying to get everything resolved. So, with that being said. Let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, with let's get started. Questions. Um, first question is asked by Evil Nerd. Do you guys think rap is overrated like I do? Who asked this question? Evil Nerd. Well, Evil Nerd, uh, I like rap, but not this new era rap shit. Give me some Eminem. Eminem. You know, I like Eminem. Uh, not new Eminem. No, not new Eminem. Not, not bushy beard Eminem, no. <laughs> uh, beard is weird. Yeah, and fucking... Uh, See, I like the I like the rap from the '90s and 2000s. You know, this new fucking rap shit. I I can't understand a word they're fucking saying. Pop, pop pop's never never words back then. Either. Like never I said, I, word of it. I, I, I liked rap. I like rap in the '90s and 2000s. This this new rap, I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, I I, I don't care too. But I, I don't I don't give a fuck about Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, why the fuck tattoos. should I care about Machine Gun Kelly? With his fucking Mickey Gill tattoos on. <laughs> and trying to be a tough guy when he's a fucking pussy. Yeah. Ain't that right, Machine Gun Kelly? How, how did that powerbomb feel by Kevin Owens, you fucking sh blonde-haired schmuck? <laughs> fuck you, and fuck your shitty music. You can make fun of Eminem all you want to. I think Eminem made more records than you sold. So, <laughs> in his million, whole fucking career. By millions. By millions. So, you could take your fucking Machine Gun Kelly part of the wild bunch ass <laughs> on somewhere else. <laughs> fuck you. Go beat up with, with Mr. Sensational. <laughs> yeah, fucking Big Al Snow who never showed up. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> anyway, now we're going to get into uh, uh, Pops. Do you think rap is overrated? Uh, you know, You've I, never liked I've it. never liked it. I think rap is crap. You're with, uh, you're I, with uh, Bobby Duncan. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm with Virgil, too. Don't forget Curly Bill. Curly Bill? Bill? Yeah, Curly yeah, Bill. Yeah, you, well, you know, you, you got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> So Good yeah, there you go. And, Ask Scott uh, Hall. Uh, don't don't get me wrong. You know, I, I it you know it's uh, to me it's it's like you 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 got you got ten people out there with only one motherfucking microphone, and they're all yelling the same thing, grabbing their fucking crotch. I grabbed my crotch for years, and they made me a fucking bit of money. But them motherfuckers you grab theirs, and already they, 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 they're making money. Sounds like me, like a fucking racket to me. Uh. You know, uh, rap isn't my favorite, um, but uh, I, I do like certain certain uh, songs, but uh, it's not one of my favorites. I'm more of a rock yeah. guy, but uh, that's just me. Now, I like, you know, you know don't get me wrong, I, I love Motown. You know, I, 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 I like the blues. I love the blues. Uh, I love that. But, the, the, you know, this, you know, and, and the thing about this right here, Shit, you know, they're always talking about killing somebody. Well, you know, I, you know, I, 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 I like the Motown and the blues because they talk about love. They ain't talking about killing nobody. They're talking about love. Well, nowadays, they're talking about money, bitches, or killing somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. That's, that's about all they're money, talking about. Money, bitches, or killing somebody. That's it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just goes by, by straight. It's going down the stairs that way. Next question, also asked by Evil Nerd. Uh, is there any favorite barbecue meals that you guys like? Barbecue meals. Yes. Um, uh, maybe is there a barbecue that you guys like, or is there a um, maybe if you know, like we we cook out and have yeah. barbecues. Is there something you guys yeah. like? Yeah. Uh, barbecue ribs. Barbecue uh, ribs. I love ribs. Yeah. Uh, hamburgers, hot dogs. Not not the fucking shitty hot dogs either from Fairgrounds that we gave some stuff that lived here. <laughs> not those. We're talking about ballparks. Yeah, we're talking about the ballparks. The good ones. Yeah, the good ones. You get the fairgrounds, bitch. <laughs> um, Pops, is uh, there I, you like? I, you know, I like the, I like the, the hamburgers, the the, the uh, pulled pork. Pull not, pork. Not, the, uh, not, not, not that not that fucking stretchy kind. I'm talking about the, the absolute pulled pork. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, 
you know, just uh, just about everything, you know, that uh, has, has to do with, you know, with barbecuing, you know. Uh, also, you know, you, you you have desserts, you know, like uh, deviled eggs. Yep. Now we know yeah. you love deviled eggs. Oh, deviled eggs, baby. Yeah, we know that. I'm eating my weight in that shit. Um, barbecue meals, uh, I do like hamburgers. I don't like hot dogs. Never have. Um, uh, hot dogs are the... Uh, uh, I, I never, I never had like hot, hot dogs. dogs on the grill, but if they you uh, boil that shit, I hate. It. But, yeah. but I, I they like, taste better on the grill. I like, I like, I like the big. I like, you know, if I want a, if I want a hot dog, I want the big, the big, jumbo. Yeah, the jumbo big. I'm, I'm talking about the, the the ballpark fucking hot dog thing. That's what I like. Um, I, I like pulled pork. Uh, and um, you know, I don't eat too much bar like barbecue foods, but uh. Actually, when I went to Louisville, um, you know, this was years ago, though, uh, before an OVW show, which down the road from the Davis Arena, the OVW Arena, there is a barbecue place called the Smoking Pit. It's mm -hmm. right, it's just right down the road before you get to the Davis Arena. Yeah. Great food. Uh, I had a pulled pork sandwich there, and they had a, um, Beer battered uh, onion rings. Oh my! Were phenomenal. Wow! It was really good. Uh, and then, they, and then they also had like chili as well, so you can get chili there. Uh, a really cool barbecue place. I really enjoyed that place. So, so if, you're, if you're ever in Louisville, uh, going to maybe OVW or something, uh, stop by the smoking uh, barbecue pit over there because uh, they got some good food. Yeah, pull off that water. Get there. That's right. Um, Next question asked by Relaxing Ghost. Oh, your host with the most ghost. ghost. I like Relaxing Ghost. Check out his channel. Check his channel out. He does some great work over there. A uh, uh, good friend of ours uh, over in Canada. In so, Canada. Uh, Say we, hi to Kevin Owens over there. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, we got friends all over the place, all over the United States. Uh, uh, Australia, United yeah. Kingdom. Yeah, a, that's the thing. Uh, that's the thing with, yes. with us here. Is whatever I want to feel like. There's the same thing with us too. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, to, to, to us, you know, they're still our brothers. That's right, no doubt. And his question is: Do you think draws should be in the WWE Hall of Fame, or receive the Warrior Award? Relaxing Ghost. Well, a Hall of Fame, no. Uh, but it ain't oh, oh, no oh. disrespect to Dries. And by the way, uh, he needs to fix his uh, his barbecue pizza. Yeah, yeah, Dries, <laughs> that's another thing. You need to fix that barbecue pizza because it was the shit when we got it. Well, the crust was. Yeah. I don't know if we fucked it. We probably fucked it up like we did Brian Kendrick in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yes. Uh, I know we fucked up. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. but Dries, Hall of Fame, no. Uh, because <laughs> he, he, didn't, he didn't really have a good career, like. Like, like he, he was part of the LOD, and he was teaming with Albert a lot, but all he was was, like, he bottom never, of the card. He never won a title, did he? Yeah, no, he never won no title. Uh, he wrestled in ECW as well. Yeah, and, but, but I put him in the Warrior War category. Yeah, for perseverance. Yeah, and, 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 uh, and dedication and all that. I put him in the Warrior War category. I, I put him in that. Yeah. I think he's eligible for that. The Hall of Fame, no. But for the War Award, yes, because he persevered. He and plus, he only wrestled for like yeah, like four years maybe. Yeah, so I I put him as a War Award nominee. Pops. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, I really don't think that that, that, he, that he would be Hall of Fame caliber. Yeah. Not that not no no disrespect to the man because because you know he was in there and he, he did the best he could, you know. But uh, he did the best. Yeah. To puke. Yeah. You know. So. You, you gotta know, do the Vince puke. Puke. He's gonna puke. Yeah. And uh, you know they, WD usually does. They use what talents that the poor guy has and you know sweeps you know, under the rug or whatever. But. Uh, but yeah, that is that that career ending injury yeah. with D'Lo Brown. That uh, it was an much, accident. Yeah. That you know. It happens. You know, it's, it's like, you know, well, you know, it's, it's like they say, you know, what they do ain't done with smoke and mirrors, you know, and you, 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 you take pitfalls. So, so you, you say you should I, be part I, of the yeah, but boy, I, To me, to me, I, I, to me, I'm sorry, but, but I think he's overdue for that. Yeah. I, I really do. I'm sorry. But no, really, oh, yeah. oh, no, no yeah. doubt, because, yeah. uh, you know, that happened in what, 90, uh, 99, yeah, 99. Yeah. Yeah. 
And ever since then, I mean, he has worked for WWE. Mm -hmm. uh, he's done like WWE.com and stuff yeah. and other stuff like that. And I, 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 I agree with you guys. I think he he at least deserves the Warrior Award. Yeah. You know, you're giving it to other other fucking. You know, which I understand. I I, the, I I believe the Warrior Award is like a PR bullshit. Yeah. For, for fucking the company to support yeah. other bullshit like fucking football players and fucking. Yeah. Writers yeah. or whoever else fucking want a yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. But um, you know, give it to a, a guy that you know he fucking his career got ended in your fucking ring. Yeah. And he's dealing with what he has he has to deal with. Yeah. Uh, yeah so like he's way overdue. To, to me, it's time. Mm -hmm. And 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 I, and I and I think it ought to happen. No doubt. Um. Next question is asked by T N Couponer. T N Couponer, the deal maker, the king of deals, the deal maker himself. Go check out T N Couponer's channel if you want to learn how to how to do some uh, saving money, some couponing. Yeah, he saves uh, us money all the damn uh, time. Yes, yes, all he, the time we go shopping, shopping. He uh, saves yes, us money. Uh, uh, he's uh, he's always posted videos and uh, stuff that he got and uh, coupons and and uh, coupon code. Yep. And, Everything. See, a couponer is a cheapskate like we are. <laughs> yeah. You can ask me. I'm a fucking cheapskate. He is a cheapskate. Yeah, he is cheapskate. Right, proud of it. His question is, now, as you guys know, um, it, last week or yeah. sometime in the middle of the of the week before, uh, Dick Slater passed away. Yeah. Dirty Dick. Dirty Dick Slater, baby. Um, you know, and, I, you know, I, I asked a couple people about Dick Slater, and, you know, they're like, who, who who's Dick Slater? Yeah. You know, now... You know, maybe some people didn't watch, you know, like wrestling in the, you know, 80s uh, and, and, you know, like the early 90s. Maybe they don't know who Dick Slater is, but, uh, you know, I mean, you know, that's my expertise is yeah. 80s and 90s going to the 2000s. Yeah. I know who Dick Slater yeah, is. Yeah, I know who Dick Slater who, uh, is, too. Who in the hell did not know Dirty Dick Slater? I guess some people didn't know him as a, you know, I mean, well, you know, Dick Slater, really, he didn't really have, like, a huge he, run in many no, places. He, no, he, he did not, uh, he, you know, he was... Dick Slater to me was was the type of guy you know that that, that would make a run, you know a mini run b b somewhere, mini run and, 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 and every and every uh, uh, you know uh, company he yeah. would he would make that run that, that, that short as hell. Don't get me wrong, it'd be short as hell, but but he would but they would call him in because he he know how to work and he know what what they expected him to do. Now, what's your best Dick Slater match or favorite memory of Dick Slater? My favorite memory with Dick Slater is when he's with Bunkhouse Buck, baby. The stud stable. <laughs> the stud stable. With, with fucking Ming and Arn Anderson and Terry Funk. That's my favorite when, with Bunkhouse Buck and Dirty Dick Slater as a tag team. They Buck were a fucking great tag team. From Bucksnort. Bucksnort, Tennessee, yeah. baby. I, I gotta go with that, the stud stable. Stud stable. Stud stable with Dick Slater, Bunkhouse Buck, Arn Anderson. I gotta go with that. Pops? No, I agree. Uh, because to me, that to me, you know, he really fit well in there with them. Yeah, really well. I mean, because uh, Dick Slater, he was a decent wrestler. Yeah. But when it come down to, um, you know, the way that he did, he he was a brutal Br wrestler. Brutal yeah. wrestler. I, I mean, he would. I, I mean, he. You know, he was, of course, you know that right there was 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 that long stretch in Japan that he had too. You know, like like all the other wrestlers. You know, there's a lot of different things in Japan than they come over here. Uh, if I had to come up with, you know, I, I got three. One would be the stud stable. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, the next one would be him with Bob Orton. Yeah, him and Bob Orton as a tag team in Starcade. Yes, uh, you know, back and in Them the, both working with a Harley race to put away Ric Flair. Yes. Which didn't happen, but... No. But, but and, I, and I enjoyed Bob Orton and Dick Slater as a tag. They were a comedy tag team to they me were. every time they fucking wrestled. Because they always sound like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they were dying yeah. or yeah. some shit. That's a lost art yes. as well. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. That, that's another thing, you know. He, he, he's so, so damn good. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, he, he had an act for doing that. And, and you know, there's, there's very few people that's got acts for selling like a motherfucker. Now, Tommy, me and you always make fun of this, okay? Oh, yeah. Me and you, uh, you you used to have the VHS tape, The Big Event. Yeah, I still got it. You still got it? I still got it. Um, now, uh, in that tape, there was a match. <laughs> yes. Now, what was that match? The 
Oh, Dirty Dick Slater, baby. He was called the Rebel at this time, yeah. where you can wear the Rebel flag. Can't wear that no more. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, so it's yeah. the Rebel Dick Slater. No, no, no. Now, now he's just Dick Slater. The yeah, Rebel's yeah. gone no more. Yeah. He, can't wear, he can't wear the goddamn fucking... And I'm sorry. This is a free country. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What? I mean, if anybody knew anything about the Rebel flag, it isn't about, yeah. uh, you know, racism. Yeah. It, it's about Southern pride, so yeah. to speak. Uh, you know, I got one, but, you know, I didn't get it for that reason. I just got signed by Tracy Smothers. But, yeah. nonetheless, um, the Rebel Dick Slater's going to take on who? He takes on Iron Mike Sharp, another great, great job. Uh, great jobber, by the way. Yeah, with the, with the black. Oh, yeah, I love Iron Mike Sharp. Sharp. Hey. Hey. But, uh. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah now, the, there's another now, one. Now, 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 when, uh, it was, uh. It was Howard Finkel. Yes, of course, the great Howard yeah. Finkel. He he announced Dick Slater. And what happened? Shh. He goes, he goes, the rebel, Dick Slater. Shh. Yeah. So every time, sometimes me and Tom will just get out of the blue and we'll go. Shh. Look at that. I think about we do a review on the big event. We'll probably do that. No doubt. We might as well do it. Yeah. You know? uh, th th those are just some memories that come yeah. to mind yeah. with Dick Slater. Uh, I like Dirty Dick Slater. Yeah. yeah. You know, he was part of the uh, stable with, uh, with Gary Hart, with Great Muda, and, yes. yep. and uh, those men, too. Yeah. Uh, he, Dick, Dick Slater, though, he could, I mean, he could work. That's why they wanted him. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, they, they, they had him he come in. Good. Yeah, and, and he would do the, he'd do the job, he'd do it right, and, and he'd be on, on his way to another promotion. No doubt. And last question for this edition of Five Questions, and this has been buzzing for a yeah. while now, and... And we've got asked by three different people. Wow. Yes. And I don't want to leave anybody out, so I just put it in, in a question yeah. right here. Um, we, we were asked by Breeda35. Oh, our, Breeda, our New Zealand brother. Our New Zealand brother, uh, Chester Portfield. Okay. And Legend Killer One. All three of them asked the same question. And as you guys know, if you guys watched, uh, not last Raw, but the Raw before yeah. that. Um... Thoughts on Roman Reigns relinquishing the WWE Universal Championship due to leukemia? Uh, you know, here's the thing. You know, I'm not a Roman Reigns fan. I butcher I butcher Roman Reigns all the time. Yes, you do. And um, I'm going to say this right here, right now. Yeah. I come to find out that this leukemia he has is not at work now. Because I seen he took a picture in the hospital and everything. You can tell he's legit now. When I first heard about I first, it, I when I first heard work. about it, I was like, "Is this just a, a ploy to get him over? Yes, to to have people cheer for him." Yeah. And I was like, "If it is, that's kind of bullshit. That, that's, that's that's bad low, taste. That's that's bad taste. Real that's bad, bad fucking taste. That's low bad, brow. That, that's bad, bad taste, taste and everything." I was like, "I hope they ain't doing it that way just for he can get sympathy and people cheer for him." Yeah. And then come to find out, he took he, on his Twitter. He took a picture of him in the hospital and, and everything. I said, "Well, I guess he is. He, I guess this is truthful." Mm -hmm. And uh, but Roman Reigns, you know, like I said, I ain't a fan of him. But I'm gonna say this: I got a little bit of respect for Roman Reigns now. And, and this is for me saying this. Yeah. And this is hard for me to say. Uh, he get. He earned a little bit of my respect. He finally earned a little bit of my respect. For, uh... And of course, he's battling leukemia. I, uh, I feel sorry for him and what his family's going through. Uh, and, uh... But, uh... But he's earned my respect because he finally, you know... Like, he shows up, even if they cheer him or they boo him. He still does his job. Yeah. And he don't care if you cheer him or boo him or, or cuss at him or, or anything like that because he, he's providing for his family. Mm -hmm. And I can understand that. And uh, But like I said, I'm not a fan of him. He gained a little bit of my respect because you could tell the guy was back in the ring. You, you could tell he's really passionate and really likes what he does in the wrestling business. Well, he's bred into it. Mm -hmm. You know? And, uh, and like I said, I'm not a fan of him. I just respect him for, for everything, and, uh, and like you said, you know, him battling leukemia, it's pretty tragic, and, uh, and I hope he gets, gets, gets help and, uh, gets back in the ring, because, uh, like I said, yeah, he's not one of, he's, he, I don't like him, but, but for him do, for him 
to come out and say what he's battling is pretty uh, a hard thing to do sometimes. <coughs> Pops? Uh, well, you know, yeah, that, that's what I was thinking when, when it first came out with, you know, I was thinking, well, what is this right here? Is it real? Is it going to work? Uh, and, and, and I just put my opinion on this right here, where it's a work, it's a, it's, it's, it's a low, it's a low grade shit. Uh, it's very, you know, unprofessional in my opinion. I don't, I don't know why they do stuff like it, but most promoters do it. Yeah. I think it's sickening. But it comes to find out, yeah, I, 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 I see, uh, you know, little snippets, you know, of, of, of him, you know, and then, and it's a real sad thing. I mean, uh, true, you know, he, well, he wasn't one of the, one of the, one of my favorite guys, you know, uh, in the, in the locker or, you know, or, or even in the entertainment. Uh, but you know he he would show up. Hmm. He would show up, and it wouldn't wouldn't matter what. And it oh, did, like fucking yeah. Brock Lesnar. And, and it didn't really matter, you know. That they, they, they booed him, or or what? It, he he really tried to put on a real good show, even though he got booed out of the building every time he walked in it. Hmm. And that right there, that, you know, that damn man, that, that right there, got he had some kind of fucking character. No doubt. And uh, you know, and and to his family, you know, I, I feel so sorry. I, I'm, I'm you know, I'm so sorry of hearing anybody that's sick. Anyway, I don't care who they are. Even if you don't like the person. Uh, it, you know, it, it, even if I don't like the person, I, I'm sorry. If it, you don't wish that something it, bad to happen to them. Because I, 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 I wish there was some way that, we, that, that nobody would ever get sick again. I really do. I, I wish I could come up with something like that, but I can't. But to his family, uh, I'm very sorry. And, and I hope I hope that, that this that, that makes a turnabout. I, I hope it can be contained. I hope it can be, you know, laid to the side and let him get finishing with his wrestling career um yeah uh, yeah you know I, I was kind of skeptical at first as well uh but you know going on and everything you know it seems legit but um uh, you know i'm just gonna be honest uh i don't like roman reigns never really did um he has a corny ass character. Mm-hmm. It, it, be honest. And it, to be it, honest, it's kind of not his fault. You know, I, I, I'm not blaming the man. It's just his character's corny. It's it's corny as shit. Um, and, and 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 he's an average wrestler at best. He's not he's not a great wrestler. He's not a phenomenal wrestler. He's an and he, and hell, he'll probably best. even admit that. Yeah, he's not the best wrestler, but I've seen worse. Yeah, I've seen worse. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. You know. But um, you know, you know, over over time, I have respected him because mm -hmm. of that reason. Yeah, uh, he's doing what Vince wants him to do, what the company wants him to do, and, and you can't blame him for that. And you can't blame him for that. And rather, people he, boo him when yeah. he comes out because let's you, be honest, you yeah. don't want to come out and get booed, booed every, if you're the baby yeah, face. Yeah. yeah, if you're the baby face, now you, you don't want to come out that. there and get booed. Um, so you know, and 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 he does show up, yeah, and everything. So I mean, he's already earned my respect. Yeah, but this is just way worse, you know, because yeah. he has yeah. to give up the championship yeah. due to. And now, and now, and now, look what we might have to go through. Yeah. We might have to see fucking Jimmy Johns. Yeah, come back with with the fucking universal fucking championship again and sit on his fucking beer exactly. couch. Now there was some people. That we're talking about that they were glad Roman Reigns got leukemia and fucking. Uh, you know uh, what I say to those people? Those people get a life. Well, those you people know, are that's sick. bullshit. Like, those, those, those people, people are sick that fucks. say that shit are sick, sick motherfuckers. Fuck. Sick motherfuckers. What's if it was someone in your fucking family that fucking had a disease or had leukemia or fucking. Some type of cancer. Or some type of cancer. Would you want someone Sickness to do that is, to you? Uh, in your fucking family, you fucking shitty guy. I would not shrunk. wish. I, I, you motherfuckers yeah, can I, suck my fucking no. dick. To be honest I, with you, I, I, I would not people wish. People that do that fucking um, say, "I'm right. glad he's got leukemia and everything." This guy's providing for his family. I would not wish. This any guy, kind of sick Roman Reigns. You know, I'm not a fan of him, but he's gained my respect. Yeah. Here's the, here's the thing to me. And and now people, yeah. people saying fucking say, "Oh, I'm glad the motherfuckers yeah. got leukemia." And, and everything like that. That's a that's, dickhead that, that does that. That's a fucking dick. And that's, that's a dick, a fucking that, coward, a fucking piece of shit. And that, to me, you're not a human if you do. That's a fucking below human being. And a fucking guy that thinks that fucking, that wants to fucking cause some fucking shit. You, you know, it's, to me. It's not, it's not, it's. It's, it, it's bad taste, and people that yeah, do that, it's fucking stupid. It was, it, I, it, it was, it was, you know, to me, with Roman Reigns, it was hard. For, for, it seems like it's hard for him. I mean, because of, look at this right here. 
look, 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 look at the guy that that, 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 that WWE is trying to boost him, boost him to be like, mm -hmm. the Undertaker. You know, and, and you, everybody knows the the Undertaker is going to be big shoes to, uh, to fill. It, it's going to take one hell of a guy, and I'm sorry, you know, Roman Reigns. I I just don't think he's gonna he's gonna make make the cut of them shoes. He's mm -hmm. you know. Although WWE is trying to push him that way, and I'm very sorry of his illness. And well, the, I could yeah. tell, I could tell in this era, he's the locker room leader. Yeah, it, it, I could yeah. see that now. Well, anything else you have for him? No, nope, I'm done. But I, well, yeah, I just want to say, you know, pe people that wish his bad look on, on, on for people like that right there. You're, you're a fucking, you're a fucking miserable human being. Yeah, yeah, if you, you, do you shit like I, that. I, I wouldn't even consider you a fucking human being. Well, that's it for this edition of Five Questions. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. If you guys want to ask questions, feel free in the comments below, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. You guys can ask us questions. If your question has already been answered, it will be Ixnade, guys. So yeah. Remember that. Um, and, uh, yeah, there you guys go. All right. That's it for this edition. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, share it all over social media as well. And don't forget to subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today. Tommy, let's take it away. If you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel, Wrestling Rampage, then I guess your punk ass don't know wrestling.